One of the things that that you understand or that we understand from studying the geologic past is that the time scale of climate change, you know, most of the IPCC studies mm-hmm. and the UN stuff, um, people look at 2100 or 2050. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They might go out to 2150. Yeah, yeah. Right? But remember that, you know, of the atmospheric CO2, so when we burn fossil fuels, about 60% of the CO2 stays in the air, about 40% goes into the ocean and the land. That 60% that goes into the air, half of that is still going to be there a thousand years from now. That's of vital importance. I think that if it's one thing people should understand. It's really important. People don't think about it this way, but, you know, nuclear waste, Mm -hmm. high-level nuclear waste in a thousand years, Mm -hmm. about 1% of the radioactivity is left because most of it has short half-lives. Yeah, yeah. Right? So that's what makes it so nasty. Yeah, exactly. That's why the stuff you worry about is the stuff that has short half-lives. Right. So a thousand years from now, nuclear waste, 1%. Yeah. CO2? 50% 50% in a thousand years. And 20, and, and probably about a third of it will still be here 20,000 years from now. So the timescales are really long. We are changing the earth, not just for a few generations, but for tens of thousands of generations of humans, if humans are so lucky to, to, to stay on this yeah. earth for that long. So that's you know hard to get your head around. Absolutely. And it, 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 it'll, it'll become relevant... What many people say, um, you know, is well, why you know maybe this is a problem, but we have economic problems, we have other problems. Well, let's not worry about it now. Let's worry about it in fifty years. And the problem is, we if you keep dumping it in there, dealing with it in fifty years becomes so much harder than now. 